The only way my next, this is like a crazy sentence, but the only way my next video that I upload is an actual one out of 10 is if it is the most viewed video in YouTube history in a 24 hour period, because my last video was the second most viewed video in YouTube <laughs> history in a 24 hour period. And so I'm like talking to my team because they, yeah. you know, they obviously care what the video is out of 10, every creator does. And I'm like, hey team, I think on this one, it's okay if we get like a, a four out of 10, a five out of 10, I, I think we can understand. And they're like, hey, 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 uh -uh, no, no, never. We want one out of 10. I'm like, guys, yeah. I just, let's just be realistic that's so here. That's <laughs> and that's like the conversation yeah. I'm having to have with my team earlier today. The second the sec most viewed YouTube video, non-music yeah. and uh, YouTube history in 24 hours. So mm -hmm. the most viewed yeah. video in 24 hours is when, uh, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. I think that got 48 point like 2 million views in a yeah. 24 hour period. Before that, it was our Squid Game video, but now our Squid Game video is number two. Then we just uploaded a video that beat Squid Games, right. but barely lost by like 500K views to uh, the Chris Rock video. Right now, it's really three things that I just, my entire world revolves around. I work out every day, I work on main channel videos, and I work on festivals. It's just those three things. Yeah. I wake up, I do that, and then when I'm done, I go to bed. So me and Eric, yeah. uh, another YouTuber, we signed a contract where we'd work out every day, and if we didn't, we'd uh, get a tattoo of each other. Yeah. And like, you're okay to have a day off if it's like actual part of your program, so occasionally yeah. have rest days. But for you know the most part, the last 310 days, me and him have worked out every single day, and we've held each other accountable, and it's been awesome. But in my little uh, thing on that before we move yeah. on, it's like all you have to do really is like just work out for like three months really consistently, and then it'll just become part of your lifestyle. Like I, I couldn't fathom a year ago, like how am I ever gonna do this religiously, you know, cause we just have so much stuff going on, but now it's just truly a habit. Right now in the short term, I'd probably upload more and get more done if I didn't work out. But I think in the long run, yes, yeah. it'll pay off. You feel less stressed because of it? No, no I, think I feel more stressed. I eat stuff at least between the steps and that at least like two hours of my day that previous to 310 days ago used to go to the main channel does it, you know, which that's a good chunk of time. Yeah. What do you think makes your job stressful? What's the thing? The thing is, uh, you know, all our videos are different. So it's like, you know, if I had to do like something like Survivor or not Survivor, it's just pick like almost any show like yeah. Hell's Kitchen or anything that still airs. Like there are like formats that are just the same thing over and over again. And you do 10 seasons of that. And after like 50 episodes, you just got it down. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. people have done it so much. It's so easy. But for us, because we're always trying to push and do something unique, it's like, this is our, you know, every third video, it's our first time ever doing that. So mm. we make all these totally. mistakes and mess up so many different ways. And then it's like, oh, well now we know this, but you know, then we usually do something else because we're always trying to be original. Yeah. And so uh, a lot of our problems are that because we try to be original and then, I don't know, it's like, yeah, it's just, it's never stops. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. Like we're just yeah. going a million miles an hour and it's like, I'm 14 years in this. You know, I've been going since I was 11. So it's like, I'm on a treadmill you know, maxed at 12 and then I just like fucking hacked it to go 24 <laughs> miles an hour and I'm running full speed and I haven't stopped yeah. for a decade. So like that too, it's like, it's pretty hard to tell when it's like one of those moments where you just push and it's like, stop being a pussy, just keep going. Yeah. Or it's like, oh, I'm actually burned out. Like I'm losing my mind. To be honest, every day I fall more and more in love with YouTube. It's like pretty crazy. Uh, Cause you know, in the past, every big creator always seemed to get burnt out at some point. It seemed yeah. like this inevitable thing. Eventually you get burnt out. I've heard this a million times. Like when I was 19, they'd be like, yeah. you're not gonna be able to do this forever. Eventually, you know, five, 10 years from now, you'll be too old and blah, blah, blah. And you'll get burnt out. But here we are, I'm 25 and I love it more than yeah. I did when I was 19. But when oh, I had 8,000 subscribers, okay. I sat down, I yeah. just cranked out a bunch of videos and the schedule, I was like, this goes in six months, this goes in a year, this goes yeah. in five years, this goes in 10 years. The high me in 10 years, goes up, which is a video I filmed when I had 8,000 yeah. subscribers. That's crazy. I think I was like 17, just like failed a history test and studying for my next one, but I hate studying. So I was just like, <laughs> I was acting like I was studying when my mom walked in, but I obviously who cares? And I just whipped out my phone. I was like, all right, this video is going to go public in 10 years. And I can't spoil what I say, but yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah. crazy. I tried to guess how many subscribers I would have two years from now. And I was just like, all right, by now, I was like, you're either homeless or you're doing YouTube full time. And I hope it's the latter.